I'm gonna show you how to create your own food delivery app. We're gonna go through the two different platforms you could use, the key features, and how to get started today. To begin, if you want guides like this, check out the link down below to get the right tech, the right type of no-code platform for your type of idea. Let's get right into it. What are the two platforms we're gonna be looking at? We're gonna look at Flutterflow and Adalo. Okay, what is Flutterflow? Flutterflow is a low code platform where you can create applications very quickly. And Adalo allows you to create mobile apps for your business without needing to code. What would I do to create a food delivery app? Well, to begin, if I was going to look at this, I would look at the Flutterflow marketplace and I would look at one of the prototypes or UI kits here. Now this one's for 249, they're not paying me. I just looked at what it had and I really like a lot of the pages that it has. So if you're not familiar with templates for Flutterflow, it's gonna give you a leg up on the visuals that you need to have. What does that mean? Instead of you building the pages from scratch, you can have the UI kits, you can have the pages, the components, all of those things built out for you. Now, what's the catch? What does it not have? Well. This will not have the back end. It will not have the logic to make your application smart. Why is that important? Because a lot of people will automatically buy this template and think, okay, once I copy it, it should work automatically. Not so fast. Because the thing is, one of the beautiful things about Flutterflow is it is so customizable. You have to tell it, the application, the logic, what do you wanna do? So even though you buy any of these templates, they might be really great out of the box, you still have to decide, are you going to use all of these 25 pages, right? Because there are so many different use cases. There are so many different types of food delivery that you possibly could do. This isn't going to be a template that you can just open it up, start having it for your business right away. It will save you hundreds of hours, if not more of the time to, build a really good looking app, but to build in the search navigation, to navigate to different uh, to different pages, you're going to have to already have that, that knowledge. You're going to have to have that experience to know how to do that. Now you can learn all those things on YouTube as well, but I always want to make sure that the, that, that caveat, although this is very, very enticing, and this could be a great solution for you. Make sure that you look at the usage instructions, you're looking at what people are saying, you go into the community, but this still can save you hundreds of hours of time to get started with your food delivery application. Now you can create one, again, with Flutterflow. This is one of the templates. Now you might ask, well, what about the, I'm trying to measure the, the distance or trying to have very specific functionality with your application. I would say, first of all, start off with the basics. What do you need to have that will allow you to hit your MVP, your minimal viable product, or we call it around here an MVB, a minimal viable build. What will you need to show that it's profitable and what, what your audience needs? From there, you can explore if you need to have very specific things for your app, and then you can look at things like in, incorporating build ship or other things in your application that works with Flutterflow. But I would say, take a deep breath. First, write down what are the key features? What's the key functionality that you need your application to do? What's, how do you want to prove it? How do you know that this is viable? Do people, how can you prove this, right? Will people pay you for this? Why would someone use this instead of Uber Eats or DoorDash? Think about all those things before you just dive in and get a template. But this is a great starting point if you decide to do this with Flutterflow. Now, in the comment section down below, let me know what you're thinking, what questions, all of those things. For Adalo, let's look over on the other side what you could be doing this. Adalo, I really think, is making a distinction with themselves. I think they're a lot closer to like Build Fire or Good Barber. They're focused on small businesses. And that's going to allow you to move faster because this is intended for business owners, not like uh, no code developers or hobbyists. But a lot of the functionality is going to be on rail on rails. What I mean by that is you're not going to have a lot of customization like you would have a flutter flow. 
So this has, so Adalo has a great template, which is like their ordering template. Now, if you're a restaurant or a food truck and you're getting orders and you're going to want the functionality of taking orders and then have possibly people actually dropping that the meals off or just rendering the orders themselves, you can be doing that with the Adalo app that you have right here for ordering. There are a lot of great functionality here. What I have found is a lot of with our clients and students in the past, they dream up that they want to be the next DoorDash, but they have not proven that they have the orders or the business like that. It's it's like a pipe dream. And I'm always about dreaming, but I'm also about you making money. So uh, th this has been a lot more viable. It's usually a already established business needing to make transactions make money and they're using something a lot like this and then once they are getting ordering orders now they're discovering what other functionality they might need to add into their application instead of you know we need to track all the drivers okay that's great that, that's really good why do you need to track them if this is something that you need why aren't you using doordash and then the reason i keep um, you know, doing devil's advocate is it's important for you to really explore those things and not to say, I'd rather build it. What does it look? What is the ROI? What is the return on investment? Is it because DoorDash, the percentages are so high? Okay. If you build it yourself or getting a developer, what's the all in cost? What's the all in cost to get a developer to do it or for you to learn this? What is your time worth? And then that allows you to see, okay, should I do this or should I use a uh, simpler functionality in the app, like a Dalo, so I can get started right away. Those are things to consider. And that's just one of many different types of um, templates that you can use for a Dalo, but th that's one way to consider this. Now, if you're using Flutterflow, if you're using a Dalo, or you decide to use another platform like Toddle or others, it's important to still understand what's your main feature or the main functionality of your application do you have an audience for this and do people want this will people pay you that allows you to really decide or go to a certain direction a lot of times people will just go and buy templates we see this when people buy bubble templates all the time and then it becomes too complicated they spend all this money on templates from zero code or others and then they just start from square one. We wanna avoid all of those things for you. We wanna have this conversation now. And if you're interested in going from idea to app, make sure you check out the free resource guide, how to pick the right tech. tech. If you're trying to do ride sharing, marketplaces or whatever, you can have that down below for free.